Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft 1.17 update part 1. As you just heard, part 1 out of 2. There's going to be two updates for Caves and Clips update. First one is a retexturing and small additions update. They haven't added anything major in like the Lush Caves or the Negative Caves or the Warden or anything else. All they added in was a small update, uh, additions and features and textures. So, I'm going to jump in, do a real quick sweep, and then I'm going to try to see if I can get this video up as soon as I can. So, first thing is the Deep Slate stuff. The Deep Slate is the normal ores, except the, you know, the Deep Slate is a very, you know, kind of like a harder substance. The substance itself has been, you know, it's like the material is a little harder to mine. That's what I'm trying to get at. So, imagine um, obsidian for some of this stuff. Like, it's an obsidian in, uh, obsidian upgrade for the materials. It's an obsidian upgrade for them. So, you'll only find these at 5 or below. It's at 5 or down into the negative case. I call them the negative case because you only find them at the negative coordinates. I don't know how long that's going to be, but for right now, you only find the stuff at the negative coordinates. But they do not have that in just yet. That will be in, in part 2 of the case and cliffs update so the next thing is copper copper is a new addition and there's an interesting thing about it it changes color so the longer it is outside and exposed it keeps getting exposed and changes color over time it goes from regular copper to exposed copper weathered copper and oxidized copper now, if you want to keep it from doing that, you add in honey. It covers the copper block and keeps it from changing. Although, you can wait in if you want to. I, I don't know why you would ever want to wax I don't know, oxidized copper because it doesn't change anything after that. But if you want to, there's that option. Now, uh, sorry. Now, honey, you know. This is all the stuff for the honey that I could ever find. The new addition as well is spyglass. You can use copper for that and it allows you to see a little bit further. It's like Optifine, Zoom, something like that. Then the next thing is the candles. The scented candles, I would like to say. There's, you know, the powdered snow scented candle. There's the um, chalk scented candle. Uh, the poop scented candle and you know the ocean breeze scented candles as well as the lime and the orange scented candles along with the apple yeah they smell real good all right jokes aside those are also new additions things they didn't add in though i uh, they're probably gonna add in the next update i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know why they didn't add in it now but the loot bags the loot bags aren't in here right now so i guess they're just trying to work it out and make it a little bit better so be looking out for those i don't know how well they're gonna change them but i hope they do change them to make it a little mm. oh all right next thing is the lush cave stuff they don't have lush caves in i've been looking around couldn't find any couldn't even find a tree for the lush cave um like the, the leaves couldn't find any so they'll be in the next update i hope after that is the amethyst they did add these in for the generation with you know, the Amethyst Geodes, I went around and I found a few of them. That's a nice addition. And the next thing that's new for gold and iron is raw iron and raw gold. Raw iron and raw gold. I didn't cover it in the video, I don't think. But the raw iron and raw gold, what they do is if you mine up iron or gold, as well as copper, as you can see here, it'll give you one of these. Now, think give yourself a fortune pickaxe and you'll get more than just one do that and if you bundle them up in the nine which is really good if you want to kind of conserve your inventory you can put them in a workbench do a whole three by three area of it and it'll give you a block of raw gold raw copper and raw iron i love that feature it's going to be really nice in the future now the next thing is going to be the dripstone. I haven't seen any of the dripstone caves, but that's probably just because they're going to be adding it into the ma the next major part of Caves and Cliffs. Right now, again, all they did was retexture, graphical quality, and including the new type of ore, as well as like all the other new items. 
So we get the dripstones, and everybody knows how they work. It's like a, you know, you fall a certain distance, and the dripstone could kill you. And they also work as, like, stalactites, stalagmites, depending on which direction you put it. Either they can be pointed down or pointed up. Now, I, I don't know why I have the chest there, but that is pretty much about it. They didn't really do anything major with this update. All they really did was add in the small, you know, additions to it, as well as the retexturing of certain ores and blocks. And, um, as you can see, chests now can be put right next to each other. I don't know how long that's been. And, again, I'm currently, like, kind of outdated. I'm an outdated Minecraft player. I have many been keeping up to date with some of the new things that come out since like 1.13 all right that was about the last time i kind of kept up to date on stuff so uh thank you guys again for watching i try to keep it short which now it's at six minutes i will see you all in the next video have a good day good evening good night good morning wherever you're in the world peace out everybody